Hey guys, say hi to Monkey, she's right behind me. Today's video I wanted to talk about forming new habits, and obviously better habits, not bad habits. It's very easy to get into a bad habit, but it's a little bit more difficult to form a good habit. And there are some major changes that I'm trying to make within myself, especially between like eating and exercising and maybe getting more on a consistent schedule with certain things like YouTube or my written blog or um, I don't know, anything anything good. I'm trying to make sure that it's consistent and that it's a habit. And I don't have to think twice about it and that it just sort of happens. So like while I've been while I've been forming these new habits, I've picked up on a few things that I know are definitely working for me. So I'm gonna talk about those things. And they're just three different small tips that I feel like have really um, helped me just stay consistent with my new habits and uh, keep them going pretty strong. So the first thing is start in the morning. Whenever you're forming a new habit, it's gonna take a little bit of willpower. So for me, for example, I mean food, I've, I've been trying to avoid sugar, right? And as much as I can because I have the biggest sweet tooth like you guys couldn't even imagine. I don't know if you guys saw my morning routine video, but if you did, um, you saw how much chocolate syrup I put in my coffee every morning. And throughout the day, I'm just like constantly eating chocolate all day long. It's just so bad. So I've been trying to eat a lot healthier and I've been, um, I try to like start in the morning with like a cup of water just because once I do that, I'm like, okay, I'm on a good track so far whatever I don't know it just works for me but you have the most willpower in the morning when you wake up you know you just woke up you're starting fresh um, it's a brand new day you're energetic so everything is like kind of like set nicely for you so I think when you start in the morning it's best for example I've been trying to get back on like more of a consistent uh, workout schedule again too and I like to do that first thing in the morning if I do it later on in the day half the time I'm either not gonna do it or two I'm just gonna be like a little bit more stressed out because there's other things that go on throughout the day I'd rather wake up a little bit earlier get it done in the morning and that way it's just sort of like routine my things that I've been really consistent with like first thing I do when I wake up I read the Bible right away when I'm in bed so I just feel like I'm on like a good emotional note to start the day and then you know, I start doing my whole morning routine and eating and whatever, and then go to work out. And I just get that done first thing in the morning, that way I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day, and it's just sort of like consistent habit, and I'm not like, oh man, I forgot to do this, you know, just, I already did it. So start your habits when your willpower is the strongest. My second thing is set yourself up for success. Um, so one thing I've been trying to do is oil pull every morning. If you guys didn't see my oil pulling video, click right here and you guys can go watch that. It's like amazing if you don't know what it is. Um, but I've been trying to oil pull every single morning and it's been becoming a habit. So I'm happy about that. But when I say set yourself up for success, like for example, I try to make sure that I have the coconut oil. So like if I don't have it, then I have to run to the store and it's just like, I don't really want to do all of that. So, um, make sure it's there, you know, set yourself up for success. If you are planning on working out, make sure your shoes and your entire outfit is right at the door or that your iPod is charged if you are somebody who needs to listen to music in order to work out. You know, just like little things, that way you know you are definitely going to do what you said you're going to do, that way um, you're not like scatterbrained and all over the place and then running late and whatever. It's just, you know that it's there, you know you can do it, it's right in front of your face go do it. The third thing is to start small and I'm such an extremist so I'm kind of being a little bit hypocritical when I say that. For example with myself, especially with the whole eating healthy thing for me, the first thing that I had to do is cut back on the sugar. That was like my number one thing. I couldn't go into like straight into like having my full servings of vegetables and no sugar at all and just you know like I can't do all of that so I'm starting off with cutting back the sugar and I've been doing so good with it. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for it. Um, I've been doing so good with that and now it's like okay now I can start implementing more vitamins in and just like little things here and there that way it's not so extreme for me so I'm not feeling so overwhelmed by it so start small if you can even if it's like you know with the workouts too I used to be like okay I have to do a full workout otherwise I'm not gonna do any of it but it's like you know what if I at least run that's a start and then I'm getting myself into the habit of doing something so now it's like okay now I can add um, sit-ups now I can add push-ups just like little things here and there so start small grow small but grow and the last thing is to have little helpers so for me whether that's like making a pact with your friends like me and my friend Katie um, we're pretty good with like trying to make sure that the other one is staying healthy or staying on top of the things that they need to do she usually stays on top of me with my sugar I usually stay on top of her with like studying or like organizing things just that's just what we do with each other I don't know why um, but it works. <laughs> and another thing that I use is I use a bunch of apps. Now I know I told you guys I wanted to do a what's on my iPhone video. P.S. All of my apps are in color order right now. And it's just like 
it's amazing. Um, but that was irrelevant. <laughs> um, I have an app, it's called Productive, and I'm going to show you guys that when I do my what's on my iPhone video. But basically it's like a habit tracker, um, and you also put in your habits. So it's not just like entering things that you do throughout the day just to see what your habits are. It's more like, okay, I want to create this habit, so let's see if I do it every day. And I'll tell you how many days you've done it in a row, and it'll like give you, send you little reminders. Because there are certain things I forget, like taking my vitamins. I always forget to do those, but I'm trying to make that a habit. So now it's like popping up on my phone every day, so I do it every day, and now it's like I don't even need it in my phone because I just remember to do it. So I just like formed a new healthy habit, which is great. So like the little apps, um, keeping notebooks, obviously having a routine with schedule will definitely help, but sometimes I, I'm i like a little bit, I feel very indifferent about scheduling because I'm somebody who has a very inconsistent schedule and I don't like to like overdo it on the schedule thing. I like to have like certain days where I'm going to do certain things, but then the rest of the day kind of like let it happen the way it's supposed to happen. Um, otherwise, I just get too overwhelmed. I'm like, well, I have to do this at this time. I have to do that at that time. It's like that every single day. And then I start to get really stressed out. So I think habits more than like consistent schedule, even though that's kind of like a consistent schedule, is more important. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's all in my head, but that's what I like to do. So that's basically it. Those are my tips for forming um, good habits. It's not a lot of steps, but it's things that are doable and things that are, are effective. So if you guys have any other tips, then write it down. Oh, I just kicked my camera. Sorry. Um, if you guys have any other tips and whatever, please write it down in the comments below because I can certainly use the help and I think we all can use each other's help. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And if you guys didn't see my last video, then click right here. I don't even remember what it was, so I can't even tell you that. Um, click right here. And then, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, which I believe is actually going to go up tomorrow because last week I didn't have time to do a video, so I was going to do two this week, one today, one tomorrow. So be sure to check back, and yeah, I will see you guys next time.